Hi friends, it's Becky, and today I'm going to be opening up the Potomac Beads Best Beads Box Treasure Edition. This is a subscription, a monthly bead subscription, that contains beads, usually some sort of tool, some sort of stringing material, and everything that you need to exercise your creativity and come up with your own designs. And so I'm going to be opening that and organizing that into my 15 grid organizer. Um, there is another bead subscription that's available from Potomac Beads and that's the kit edition. And in that edition, you get three different projects that come with everything you need. The beads, the findings, the um, thread and needles, if it's a bead weaving project, etc. And I actually subscribed to that one as well, but it's not here yet. So we're just gonna open up the treasure edition and get it organized for us to do that. All right, and the theme for this, because they are curated to a theme, each month is Coastal Oasis. And I've got a little link, or a little list of the things that are in here. And we've got a message that tells us a little bit about this box. So this month's treasure box reminds us of the profound feeling of peace amidst the shoreline's clear blue water and light breezes. Peer into the soft interior glow of mermaid glass rounds, sparkling sapphire and emerald crystal, and the delicate detail of metal charms. So here we go. It is our Coastal Oasis box. And it looks like we've got a couple of extra things in here, like this card with a color wheel that we can use for contrast and harmony. That's fairly useful. Um, I don't think that's the only tool that we've got. And it looks like we've got an extra pattern. The color striped beaded bead pattern. Now this came in um, one of the best bead boxes a couple of years ago. And it is, it was a, a pattern that we got along with a kit to be able to make this bracelet with these beaded beads. And I actually have mine, I don't have it here next to my desk, but I, I made one. And uh, one of the coolest things about this is it's not in this pattern. This is just for the beaded beads. But uh, they also, in that kit, gave us a pattern to make this toggle clasp with some delicas. And there's a tutorial on the Potomac Beads channel that shows you how to do that. I'll put a link to that tutorial for this toggle clasp in the description below in case you wanted to make one of those as well. But when they do these patterns, they also include a, um, a video tutorial as well. So... We've got just a free pattern, it looks like. Something that'll allow us to make some of these beaded beads. Um, it doesn't look like we have the materials for it, but you can get that from Potomac Beads or shop your stash. And I, I do like big beads as a true fact. And we've got some stickers. I like stickers. All right. And then we've got several bags of different beads. Let's pull them all out. And then we can get them sorted. And it looks like we do have just some blues and greens and aquamarines and some really great beads. Oh, look, we've got some crystals as well. These are crystal cushions. Some shell beads. These have anchors on them. You can see those. Got some starfishes, some strands, some large check discs, and crystal pickup pencils. I, I've never used these. Is it sticky? Is that how it works? It'll help you pick up your crystals? We'll have to try this out with these, but tool. And then also stringing materials. And it looks like we've got some dragon thread. I am a fan of dragon thread. I usually, I have several spools in my thread box. And this box, by the way, it's a fantastic box. It's very well made. It has a little magnetic closure. And even though I don't use it to keep my bead box in, because if I kept it in here, I would never use it. I need to be able to see what I'm doing. I do use these. I keep 
art supplies in it. I keep some of my findings in them. I keep, a, I've got thread in actually a couple of boxes now. And I actually started in some of these boxes keeping my finished jewelry so that I have a place where it's not just laying around <laughs> out there. It's somewhere where I can go into the box, pull something out to wear, and then have it stack up nicely um, on the shelf. So it's a good box. It's worth keeping. All right, so thread and some beading needles and then our pickup sticks. Let's get these guys sorted into this box. So first are these check glass pair anchor pendants. They are crystal color and we have five of them. They are substantial. You can see the little anchor pattern on them. There's five of them. The back side is clear. And this side has the, uh, the pattern and the texture. I'm going to set them right here in this corner. So that is the start of my sorting. Next, we've got some shell beads. They've got these. And they are two colors. They are aqua blue swirl. And they are nine millimeters in size. Gonna set them next to our anchor pendants and then we've got conch shell beads or conch I, I think it's conch that's how you pronounce it right and they have a metallic finish on them and the hole goes right from one end to the other on these shell beads it's like a brass is the metallic finish that's what it looks like to me anyway. I'm going to set them right over there. And then we've got some check glass drop beads. Those are the discs. There we go. And these are transparent smoky. They are 6 by 10 millimeters. Let's pull these guys out. And it looks like we've got a hole that runs across the top of the drop bead. I'm going to set them over here in this corner. Well, not exactly the corner, just over here on this side. For now, I don't have a real reason, except I just feel like it should go there. Then we've got some glass discs, and that's these guys. They're transparent cobalt. They are a lentil shape with a top drilled hole right through the top of it. And if you can see the hole on these guys. So you've got several of these. I'm going to put the same maybe here for my lentils. Again, no real reason. Just that's, I feel like that's where it should go in this box. Then we've got some smooth rounds. They are four millimeter rounds and that would be these guys right here. They are on a strand and it looks like they've got a little bit, their crystal color with maybe an 80 finish. Let me get them on my little ladybug dish and we'll get a closer look at them. But they, they feel like water droplets to me. That's what I'm feeling with them. And I may be wrong about that AB finish. It may just be crystal. So it'd be really helpful if I didn't like lose all of my beads right when I open them. Physics. I think all of us at one time or another have been a victim of physics. All right, so then we've got some Czech pressed glass rondelles. I believe that's, no, that's not these, are they? Fasted rounds. Okay. Are they really rondelles or are they more like football shapes?
they are more football shape rather than roundel shape. That's all right. Put these guys here. And I don't have a specific color description on this one, but it feels like a light sapphire to me. That's what it feels like to me. All right, then we've got some press glass beads. We've got our 10 millimeter press glass beads. There are these purple blue iris. And I'm not sure. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm going to have enough room for everybody to have their own space. We get four of these. They are 10 millimeter with this really cool shape. I'm going to stick these guys right up there. We've got some lover back earrings. And these guys, it looks like, have a shell on the front of them like that. I'm going to stick these right here in the front. I like to put um, like charms and findings in that little section when I'm doing my organizing. It's just something that I like to do. No real reason. That's just where, where things feel like they go best to me. And then we've got some starfish charms. These are silver antique silver it looks like. And they've got a back that way and a front, and we get one, two, three, four, five of them. We've got some mermaid glass, and this is smoke matte. They're six millimeters in size. They're giving me a real, um, like, almost, uh, especially with the flash that you get from the way that the mermaid glass is, right? It's, you know, two different pieces, two different hemispheres that have been stuck together like that. Um, with that flash from it, it's giving me a real, like, um, vibe of, uh, what is it called? Labradorite. The smoky color and the, the flash. I think they'd, it would probably not go amiss with some of that gemstone. And we've got some crystal cushions. That's these guys right here. And I'm actually going to keep these in their bag. They've got that color shift blue. It's like a mermaid lagoon. I'm going to help protect the, the outside of that by keeping it in its bag while it's here in its box. So that I can pull that out later. All right. And then we've got some crystal bicones. And these are emerald color. These are two millimeter bicones. I'm just going to put it right here on this guy and come a little bit closer so you can take a look at the color a little bit better and they are tiny beads so we're just gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see those bicones got the wavy discs. That's these guys. They've got the different layers in the glass and then this textured shape on them. And I think I'm actually going to stick them right here in the same section so that I have room in the other sections for some of my other beads. All right, so there's two different colors of our fire polish beads. One is this 
opaque jade color. And the next is these turquoise with the Picasso swirl. And it looks like we got more of the jade color. Picasso swirl. And then the last but not least, we've got some 80 Crystal AB round, uh, seed beads with a seafoam lining. So let me get that up close. So y'all can get a better look of that color with a seafoam lining and the crystal AB. I'm gonna get these guys stuck right in here. Oop. So you've got some big beads, we've got some little beads, and we've got some beads in between. And they all are this really great. theme for the oceans and all of that. I'm just going to unfold this so we get a second look at all of these all together. There we go. And that is the Potomac Beads Treasure Box for June 2024. I'm going to put a link in the description if you would like to subscribe to this box or to the kit box. And uh, I'll also put a link to the tutorial for this because it was a really, it was a really useful thing to be able to learn. And I will talk with you later. Bye.